Yeah, <laughs> what up y'all and welcome back to another one uh, today all morning long it is 9 30 in the morning now but all morning long I've been doing nothing but scout 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 for these dove oh check this out here's some right here though speak of the devil check them out up on the power line okay okay I see ya opening weekend of dove there was a bunch around there was a lot uh, we are easily limiting out yada 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 now Man, it's tough. The nights are getting a little cooler. I don't know if they're pushing out or if they're just realizing that there's no food around here. None of the fields are hardly getting chopped. Hardly any of the corn is uh, chopped yet for silage or, or anything yet. So, it's not a good deal. Not much crop off. Uh, last winter, we didn't have much winter wheat. So, the abundance of winter wheat fields, there's not a bunch of them and they've already been planted back into so you can't hunt them anyways even if there are dove on them so that's been what i've been doing today is trying to find a dove hunt for this evening but in the meantime i was thinking i was like what video can we do today what do y'all want to see and i went directly into my dms on instagram y'all have been dming me so much i've been getting like 50 a day it has been insane and i thank you guys so much for all your interaction your questions your concerns some of you just say hey man i just wanted to hit you up been watching you for a long time and and i appreciate every single one of you hitting me up but one of the most common asked questions guys is bobby what size shot choke shell do you recommend for dove duck and geese we need to do a video on it i haven't done one in a while but first check out that hat oh that duck's dad hat looking sharp if you want to pick one up, I will link it down in the description below. Oh, hi there, Frederick. Set, set. What have you been getting into? You got some orange stuff on your face, dude. What have you been getting into, huh? You been a good boy? I'm telling you, that Frederick. Let's walk around here. Let's go see what he got into. What'd you get into, dude? Huh? Hi, boy. I don't see anything yet. I'm sure I'll find something here just a little bit walking around gabbing with y'all. So we're gonna get right into it here. We're gonna start off with choke. So a lot of you have been going, Bob, I bought this new choke, that new choke, or Bob, I'm looking for a new choke for geese or for ducks or for dove. And you guys are really particular, you know what I mean? Here it is, guys. If you've already bought a choke and you've already tried a bunch of different shells and you're still not connecting with birds like you want to, I can tell you one thing. You need to shoot more. I'm not being mean. It's just the God honest truth. Back when I was like, what is wrong with my shot? Why can't I hit these birds? My buddies are hitting them. Back then, my buddies hunted a lot more than me. They shouldered their shotgun a ton more than me. But today, as you all know, I shoulder my shotgun every single week. It might be every other day. During the season, it might be every day. You know what I'm saying? And with the summertime, the dove hunting that's been going on, the starling, the sparrows, uh, the, all the pigeon hunts, those are all small birds. So I've been shooting a lot. What I'm getting at is, guys, you got to build up that muscle memory in your arm, in your trigger finger, in your neck, where you place your head, everything. It takes time. So, if you're having trouble connecting and, and you've tried some different shot and choke combinations, go to the range. Go shoot some clays. A lot. It'll help, I promise. But a little, I'm done babbling about that. I, I preach about that all the time. Uh, building muscle memory, shouldering your shotgun. So, chokes. So, for chokes, um, I run a long range choke. It's pretty much a full choke. Uh, really not quite but it's a long range. It's a Carlson Cremator choke, and this is their long range. Uh, it's a .700. Now, how this works, guys, is take out your choke, and it'll have a number on there. This is a .700, .700. So, so the smaller the number, the tighter the choke. So if you were to go to like a .692 or a .687, it's gonna get tighter and more restrictive the lower number you go. So, like I said, this is a 
long range. Now when you get into like extra full chokes, it's probably going to be somewhere down in the 685.687, I think. I'm pretty sure. I think I've even seen some down in like the 0.678, maybe? Yeah. I think my buddy Ross has one of those. But I keep this long range choke in all the time. I have gotten used to it. Doesn't matter if they're small fast birds or big slow honkers. I do not take it out. What I adjust to that though is my shot size. First off, for Dove, I run this long range 0.700 with six, six and a half, seven and a half shot lead for Dove. And it works great. It's the same thing I've used for starlings, sparrows, and pigeons. It works phenomenal. Getting used to a long range choke, guys, it's a game changer. You're gonna kill a lot more birds that way. But then for, uh, for ducks, for teal, uh, I definitely, definitely, definitely will not go any bigger than a number four um, for teal. Teal are small, so, and they're fast. So, especially with a full choke in, I'm gonna be running this same full choke, but with like a four shot or a six shot steel. You know what I mean? Now for mallards, for bigger ducks, I'll rock number two, number fours, all day long, same choke. Now guys, I, I'm, I'm gonna preach this. Two years ago when I met the owner of Snows Down Low, Jameson, uh, a lot of you were there for that hunt, seen those hunts, but I kept switching my choke back and forth. We were snow goose hunting, a flock would come in real low, uh, real close. I was like, man, I want my modified in for those close flocks that do it really right. You know what I mean? And then we'd have some groups that stayed, you know, 40, 45 yards and we take the shot. And then I'm like, man, I wish I would have kept my long range in. And Jameson had enough. He seen me switch that choke out like two or three times in one hunt. He was like, Bobby. I can tell you what, you're going to be shooting a lot more if you just leave one choke in. He was like, pick one. He's like, I don't care if it's a long range choke or the modified. Just keep one in. Don't change it anymore. You're just hurting yourself, basically. And I was like, you know what, you're right. And ever since then, I have not taken this out. Now, I don't go shooting triple Bs through it or T-shot because it is a full choke. I don't recommend shooting anything bigger than BB, really, unless you have to and unless your choke is designed for something bigger than BB, like triple BB, T-shot, you know what I mean? F-shot, yeah. But for geese in general, same choke, again, but I'm gonna be running BB or two-shot. I really, really fell in love with the one-shot up in North Dakota on the honker trip that I just went on. The boys uh, provided all federal ammo for us. It was actually red box instead of the blue box but it was one shot and I really, really liked it on them honkers. It worked very well. So guys, just cause they're big birds doesn't mean you have to rock triple BB and T shot. You don't really need to. Even BB is a little too big for me a lot of times. I don't like running BB because you're getting less pellets. You know what I mean? The smaller the shot, the more pellets you're gonna get. And with a full choke, the more pellets that you can put through that full choke with a denser pattern, the more deadly you're going to be. I'm telling you right now. So guys, real quick, a lot of you are just like, Bobby, I'm not having good luck with uh, the ammunition I've been buying. A lot of you are just like me. Back in the day, um, I wasn't hooked up with Federal or, or anything like that. I had to go to Walmart and I got whatever they had on the shelf. You know what I mean? So if you're still doing that, hey, props to you. I understand. But there are some ways to buy ammunition a lot cheaper. Rogers, guys, for ammunition, Rogers is the place to go. You can't beat their prices. And if you're looking for something new, a new shot, if you've never tried Blue Box, the Speed Shock, Blue Box. The Speed Shock, it is amazing. I love it. I personally love it. Uh, I used to shoot a lot of Black Cloud. Uh, but once I got my hands on the new cleaner, this is actually the new version. It's a lot cleaner load. It's awesome. They hit like hammers and uh, it doesn't matter what it is. If I'm shooting BB, two shot, four shot, it does it. It does it. It does work. Just a recommendation. A lot of you have been like, hey, I want to try some new things. I want to start switching up my shot. I want to start switching up my choke, my gun. Switch it up. Find something you like. But, 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 but. Don't just go spending a buttload of money 
because you think you need to to improve your shot guys it doesn't take the most expensive gun ammunition choke out there it doesn't take the best a lot of people don't even run a uh, an extended choke you know what I'm saying there was a lot of years that I didn't and I killed the heck out of ducks so find something you like but shoulder that shotgun boys you got to start shouldering that gun more and more and more it ain't gonna help you go spending a bunch of money on chokes and shells and a new shotgun and all this jazz if you're not shouldering it and just simply getting better at shooting your gun <sighs> But in the meantime, I really need to feed my pigeons. This is our little food bucket here. A lot of you on the channel that's been watching the old pigeon videos have been seeing me feed the pigeons, trap the pigeons. It's been a lot of fun, and I'm glad you guys have been enjoying these pigeon videos. It got us through the summer, you know what I'm saying? But here they are. I haven't showed you guys in a little while. Check them out. Those are the two babies up there. Those are the two blue barred babies they are getting big they haven't jumped down here to eat yet though look at this they just make a mess out of their water bowl completely devour the food every morning this is my chore get out here and feed these pigeons oh they're happy birds the happy birds but guys i know that there wasn't any shooting or any action packed hunting or anything crazy in this video but you guys have been asking for more of these Foul Friday style videos, the tip style videos. And I don't like just bringing you these tip videos on Fridays only. So if you guys like me doing these tip videos randomly throughout the week, smash that thumbs up button for you, boy. And if you guys have any, any video ideas that you want me to do, whether it's a tip video over decoys, over spreads, maybe waders, gear, I don't care what it is. Drop a comment down below and let me know. That's where I get these ideas for these videos. But old Frederick, we haven't found anything out here that he's done chewed yet. Him a good boy. Him a good boy. But again, thank you guys for being here. Make sure you subscribe if you have it. If you guys want to pick up that new Ducks Dad hat, again, I will link it down in the description below. But be sure you all subscribe. All my duck hunters out there, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell down there. It'll notify you every time your boy uploads. But thank you all for being here. We'll see you all on the next one. Peace. Audio jungle.